All right, what up, fish homies? We're back with the moment you've all been waiting for, the giveaway. Finally got the stuff that I ordered to give away to the lucky person that commented, what up, fish homies, for our 100 subscribers. So we got, I think, a couple method feeders and some other gear so someone can do a little carp fishing of their own. I got myself the same gear to prove to you that it's really worth it. It's really good feeders. I've been waiting to get these, but they were out of order. We finally got them back in stock. Got it from Big Carp Tackle. So, I'm also gonna do a video on how to uh, set these up on your own pole when you get them for the winter and for anyone else who wants to buy them. All this stuff is on bigcarptackle.com and it's not that expensive, so it's a nice way to get fishing for cheap for big old fish. Without further ado, oh yeah, here's one of the feeders that, um, I forget what ESP stands for, but anyways, this is one of the feeders I got, I saw online and it looked pretty darn good. You can see on the back how it sets up kind of there. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but you get the idea there. So that's the e uh, the ESP Mega Feeder. That's a two ounce one. That one's for me. All right, so here are the feeders that you guys or someone will be getting. We got the Corda Bait Up Method Feeders. Got four here, two for me and two for the viewers. All right, so. It's kind of hard to see them in the box, but those are the Corda Bait Up Method feeders. You can see they're like fins, but two of the fins are weighted, so one spot always lands face up, just like the other ones, but I feel like these ones are a little bit more easy to cast, and you can put a little more bait on there. There's the back of it. Sorry for the glare. Hopefully you can get a good uh, view there. They're a 1.25 ounce and a 1.75 ounce. So one's a little heavier if you need to whip it out there a little further. So yeah, there's the two method feeders for the viewers. Separate those. Then we got the rig tubing. So this is sinking rig tube that you put above your method feeder. It's just coiled up there, but there's two of those, one for me, one for you guys. Someone out there. So yeah, there's a, this is rig tube. It goes above the method feeder. It's like kind of an anti-tangle situation thingy. I'll show you guys how to rig that up. But yeah, it'll keep your uh, line pinned on the bottom and it will keep everything from getting tangled. Then we got the anti-tangle sleeves. Right, so yeah, these are the anti-tangle sleeves. These are gonna go, um, after the feeder so in between your hook and the feeder this is just another thing to keep everything up from getting tangled and you'll also see up next we got the the quick clips all right so right here we got the fox quick clips these go after the feeder you'll see in that this is what connects your uh, the um, leader line with the hook to the feeder and the anti-tangle sleeves will go over this to close it up and it's just an easy way to change if you want to put on a longer leader, a shorter leader, ficto facto, back and forth, this is what you need. So this, the anti-tangle sleeves will slide over these quick clips and that will give you the um, little secure thing. So you can kind of see on the back there, yeah, so you can kind of see on the back there how it works. There's the anti-tangle sleeve right there, and it will slide over the quick clip. Bada bing, bada boom, you got your little setup going. Last but not least, we got the famous IB flavored slow sinking corn. So I didn't get hooks, but you can use like a size eight hook or a size six hook, or you can just order them on Amazon. But this is a fake corn that works really well it kind of hovers above the um, ground on top of the hook. It doesn't float the hook up, the hook stays on the bottom. They call it critically balanced. But this will hover over just rising up off the top so the fish will have easy access to suck it up. So 
we got, I think uh, we actually, I only did get one fake corn, so we're just gonna have one winner. But this is gonna be all the stuff we're getting. We got the method feeders, the uh, rig tubing, the fake corn, dropping stuff everywhere. We got the anti-tangle sleeves, the quick clips, and that's it. So this is gonna be all the stuff to get you started with the method feeder and get you on some big carps. I don't wanna see you guys catching more carp than me with this, cause that's just gonna be embarrassing. Cause I got the exact same setup. So that just proves to you that it's good stuff. I got it too. There's a lot of people that use it even overseas. That's where it comes from. Anyways, so hopefully one lucky person's gonna get this bag of stuff. We're gonna pick the winner on Monday. So there's still gonna be a few chances to uh, try and get in the running. If you haven't yet, look for our 100 subscriber giveaway. It's a few videos uh, ago. And uh, you'll see in the title, it says 100 subscriber giveaway. Go to that video, comment what up fish homie or what up fish homies, and you could win all this stuff right here. All right, fish homies. Later in this video, we're either gonna be shark fishing or I'm gonna show you up how to rig this. All right, so shark fishing didn't work out tonight, but I'm here with Big Bill. And we're about to show you how to rig up the old method feeder that one of you will win or if you go buy it yourself, it'll help you too. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so first things first, you wanna get your dark matter uh, tungsten rig tubing. And this is just like an anti-tangle method and it helps pin down the line to the uh, ground so if there's fish swimming by, they're not gonna get spooked if they hit the line. This is 25 pound mono too. I just got a bigger line to see, so you guys can see it easier. But you can use 20 pound mono or 15 pound mono or like some braid. I use 20 pound braid, but it's really hard to uh, get the braid through this tube without a special tool. So you just get like 18 inches or two feet of this tube right here. And you can just let it hang down. It's super heavy and supple, so it's easy to thread mono in there. Just let it go straight down. If it's coiled up, it'll be a little harder to get in there and I'm just using a piece of a uh, string it's not connected to my pole or anything just so I could show you guys how to do it so then you can see it's coming out the bottom now can you see that Bill? Mm -hmm. yeah so now we threaded the tube next thing you're going to want to do is get your bait up method feeder from Corda right there where it says bait up that's always going to be the top so it's gonna fall like that and leave your bait exposed. The other ones don't say anything. So you know, back your bait like that and it's not gonna get trapped on the bottom. Second thing you do is thread your mono through your feeder and then you can wet your rig tube a little bit and shove it down into the anti-tangle sleeve at the top there. So now it's one continuous piece. That's the, this would be connected to your pole back here. So you got the rig tube going to your method feeder, shoved in there. And then this is where you attach your quick link. These are the quick links that you'll get. And these are size seven, I think. They're usually size eight, but I don't know, Fox does it weird, I guess. And there's no stock in the size eight and anything, so. We're just gonna connect this with the Palomar knot. Alrighty, so we got that nice and tight on there with the Palomar knot. And we're gonna trim the extra line. And all you do is pull it up into the little hole in the bottom there. And all you'll have is your little quick link sticking out. Is it focused? Mm hmm. So yeah, the quick link right here will be sticking out and then you can attach like a size eight or a small swivel to put in there or you can just loop your leader and put it in there. And next, I'll just get a piece of line and show you. I don't have the hooks with me, but. All right, so I just got a little piece of line here. Your leader should be about four inches, but this is just for example. So you can either tie a loop in the top like this or you can just put a swivel at the top. Either way works fine. 
So just imagine there's a hook at the end of this line, four inches away, like right here. So what you're gonna do is, well, first of all, I forgot. You need your anti-tangle sleeves, the Corda anti-tangle sleeves. And this is obviously to keep it from tangling. And it helps kick your bait out, because what you want to happen is your bait's gonna start here, and that anti-tangle sleeve is gonna kick your bait out like that. So your bait's gonna be floating over here, and your bait ball's gonna be right here. So there'll be a free offering for them to grab onto. What you're gonna do with your leader Get your anti-tangle sleeve going here, and that is gonna go the the tippy point, the skinny point is gonna go towards your hook. So you're gonna put that on your leader, and then you put the loop into the quick link, and then you slide your anti-tangle sleeve over both of those. Sometimes you gotta. Look. Wet it a little bit. Had a big knot because this is big mono, so it's a little harder to slide over, but it's a going. Just gotta work it in there. Super close. So this is looking pretty good. Alright, so now what you're left with is you got your two feet of rig tube. You can use a little less or a little more, and that's gonna go into your quarter bait up feeder and then your quick link on the bottom is going to get covered by that anti-tangle sleeve so your your uh, leader is going to be safely tucked in there I don't know if you could see it but it covered up the thing so the line can't come back out and then when it lands it's going to land with the bait right here and this anti-tangle sleeve is gonna kick out the bait just like that. And it's gonna be laying right here, floating up. And your bait ball's gonna be right there. So this, my friends, is the carp rig with the bait up feeder. So one lucky one of you guys is gonna get this. And if you don't, you can find all this stuff on Big Carp Tackle. It's all legit stuff. And you can find how to make the bait and all the other stuff on my other videos. But basically, we just mix panko with jello and corn, and you pack it around here into a tight ball. You put your uh, hook bait in there, which is gonna be your fake corn or whatever you wanna use with on the hair rig, or however you wanna do it. You can put any anything on here. The fake corn, you can use a regular hook, or you can use a hair rig. You put it on there, pack the bait around it, cast it out, this is the 1.75 ounce one, and there's a 1.25 ounce one. The winner's gonna get two. This one's mine, so that's they're all opened and used now, but you're gonna get some fresh ones. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions about this rig, just shoot it down below and I'll try and answer it. I usually get to all the comments, and uh, if you wanna see anything else, let me know. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, one last thing I forgot to mention is that if you don't understand how I explain this or something, or you want like further explanation, Corda has a YouTube channel spelled K-O-R-D-A. I forgot exactly what it's called, but uh, just look up Corda on YouTube. And if you look up the Corda Bait Up Method Feeder, it's gonna show you how to use it, um, but they're all in england or whatever so it's kind of hard to understand them a little bit and it's all different and weird so hopefully i simplified it enough for you guys but like i said if you don't understand it leave a comment below or check out quarter's youtube maybe i'll link it so you guys can uh, or i'll just put a link to their quarter bait up uh method feeder video so you guys can check it out yourself anyways peace out for now fish homies hopefully one of you lucky guys gets it or one of someone's gonna win it for sure but Hopefully, if you're watching this, you get it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Look for the 100 subscriber giveaway video. It's already out. If you want to win this stuff, just comment on it. What up, fish homie? And I was going to pick tomorrow, Monday, the, um, what's the date tomorrow? I was going to pick the winner on October 9th, Monday. But I think I'm going to wait till Wednesday. So, the people who didn't get a chance to subscribe and enter this contest can still have a little chance. And uh, if you already entered, hopefully you freaking win, you freaking fish homies. Peace out.